Hi, it's Maxine Kay from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living in Paoli, Pennsylvania. You might see Yoga is just walking behind me. She decided she didn't want to be a star tonight, but she's just going to walk around. And we love letting people and little beings of all kinds enjoy their freedom, don't we? We want our freedom too. And we have a very special happening tomorrow. January 20th, and that is the inauguration of our new president and leadership of the United States of America. Now, we have seen some images in the last couple of weeks that were far from harmonious or peaceful. Um, the antithesis of that. Uh, shocking things we never thought we would be looking at. But we need to stop looking at that because peace is our intention. Harmony, harmonious activity is our goal. And so we need to be looking at something other than what we've seen back then. This is a new time, a new era, a new moment. And it's up to you and me to establish a consciousness of peace, and productivity, and prosperity, and goodness. This is the time. Peace of Helen Keller said, I don't want a peace that passeth understanding. I want a peace that bringeth understanding. And the, so the peace we're talking about today is that realization that each of us and all of us are able to have when we go deeply <clears throat> within our own hearts and souls and find that deep source the presence of the divine within us, and remember that peace is a divine attribute of God. Remember, life, love, light, peace, power, beauty, and joy. These are all intrinsic aspects of the divine life. And how were you and I created? Mm -hmm. Not out of a handful of mud. You and I were created out of the one divine life, which is God's life. So whatever is true about the infinite is true about the finite. And all those seven substantive qualities of God dwell within each of us. So peace is already within us. Now here's the, the most amazing ability of all, and we will all get there eventually. And that is to look at something that looks chaotic and see and feel and experience and bring peace to it. Oh, it's lovely to sit in the ashram or in the sanctuary or under a tree and experience that serenity that comes from our feeling of oneness with all life. That's beautiful. But we are called upon right now, here and now, to bring peace into situations that aren't peaceful. And we cannot do that if we're getting too involved in the external appearances, which is why I'm asking you, please, let's all maintain our focus, our clear and present focus upon that which is real, that which is eternal, which is eternal, that which stems from the very heart of God itself. So a peaceful transition is taking place and we're contributing to that beautiful, peaceful transition by our deep understanding about what peace truly is. And as we do this, we can move into each moment of every day with a sense of a glad heart an awareness that none of these things move me. We've been through that right now. We are bringing the presence, allowing the presence of peace to express in through and as each one of us. This is a grand time for us. This is a beautiful opportunity in the midst of so much strife and illness and anxiety and all of those other things that humans experience. And we do have human experiences, don't we? You noticed that in the midst of all that, we are peace bearers. We are the people who know 
that a new possibility is emerging, that there is more harmony and more trust, more civility, more kindness, more compassion, more justice, more unity. This is upon, this, it is upon these things, these ideals that we are focusing now. And that's what brings true and lasting peace. So this is a beautiful time. This is an opportunity for us to continue this rebirth, a rebirth of a whole new possibility for us individually, collectively in our communities, in our states, in our nation, and in the world. Let's maintain this beautiful consciousness and bring the peace <clears throat> that is already a reality for all of us into each beautiful day. This is a wonderful opportunity. We're joining in it together. And I'm so grateful. This is only the beginning. And so tomorrow, on that beautiful auspicious day, Reverend Mike will be bringing you a love note. And then, of course, on Sunday morning, we do our live streaming. We have beautiful things to share with you always. And so tune in by going to our website, cslphilly.org. And there you will find uh, the link to the live stream at 10.30 on Sunday morning. Join us. And if you can't join us, then click on it at any old time and join us later because those Sunday mornings are archived as well as our love notes. Yoga is looking at me. Why don't you come over here and say hello to the folks? No, she's, she's going to be shy. And so it's an opportunity to look to see what's going on. We have a lot of beautiful classes coming up. And of course, they're all virtual. So by all means, hop in, join us as you can. And all, you might always also want to think about popping on that donate button and have an opportunity to contribute to our our beautiful center. Yes, we're still meeting virtually, but we are meeting, aren't we? And it's true and it's real and it is peaceful and it is powerful. So thank you for being with me today and I'm with you every single day. Love you so much and I'm so grateful that God is good all the time and the peace of God is expressing into and as us right now. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.